The number of people who have died due to COVID-19 since the start of the pandemic is now more than 6 million worldwide. That's according to the latest data from Johns Hopkins. Nearly 1 million of those deaths are from the U.S. It is a reminder that the pandemic is not over. However, numbers have been on a downward trend nationwide over the last month, and people are starting to travel again. Businesses are reopening and masks are coming off. And while many people are ready to celebrate that, for others, it can be a source of anxiety as well. In today's Mental Health and Me, we're talking to Dr. Cheryl Ziegler, a child psychologist and our nine parenting expert. Thanks for joining us. So um, we've been hearing about this so much. You know, masks are optional in school. I know at CU Boulder just today they became optional and in many public places. So what should we be mindful of if, if you know, many of us, I think, are, oh, OK, take it off. But not everybody feels that way. That's great, Kim. Not everyone feels that way. I have been hearing over the last couple of weeks, plenty of kids from younger all the way through college saying things like, Either, you know, I don't like the way I look underneath this mask. I want to keep it on. I feel uncomfortable with health concerns. I got braces during the pandemic. I don't like my nose. All these different kinds of things that even for me, I was a little surprised at how much actually people were sort of comforted or even hiding behind a mask. And so I think we need to be aware of that not everybody is comfortable with this and that if you have a child that's maybe pushing back or doesn't want to take it off, to really take the time to have a conversation with them about what they're worried about, what their questions are, and just what they're thinking. It's interesting you bring that up because, you know, for many kids, getting those braces or little things like that, they're just monumental events at this time and, and maybe they just aren't ready. So how do you as a parent or parents, what would you suggest how you guide kids through this transition? Yeah, I think the first thing is, you know, we always want to lead with empathy. And so if you do have a child that, let's say, is comfortable taking their mask off, you really want to say to them, you know, not everybody is. Here are some different reasons why they're not. Um, how do you still be inclusive, not make other kids or even other adults feel uncomfortable about their choices? I think that's number one. And I think that even some school educators and administrators have mentioned that to me, that we want to make sure there isn't a backlash where then there now there's something against you if you don't take off your mask. So number one is empathy. Number two is communication. How does your kid feel about this? How safe do they feel? I think, you know, let's not take it for granted. Some people are celebrating and some people are not happy about this. So just for them to know that just in general, mask wearing seems to cause people to have some really big feelings and emotions. And let's try to understand both sides before we're quick to judge or, you know, not spend time with someone because of their choice. So true. And, and kids are always listening. They've heard so many discussions over the last couple of years about mass and strong opinions from parents. And that doesn't make it any easier when they go into the classroom hearing that. So this is a time that we really kind of need to navigate everything and check out on our mental health and, and just feel good about where we are, I guess, feel strong. Yeah, I mean, we, we maybe don't realize that behind that mask, right, both metaphorically and maybe literally, could be some big anxiety. And anxiety has been one of the most pervasive issues throughout this entire pandemic. And just because the masks are going away um, doesn't mean that that anxiety is. So really, we all have to be so cognizant that anxiety is still very, very predominant amongst uh, children, teens, and young adults. Very true. All right. Can't just take it off like that. All right. Thank you, Dr. Ziegler.